Hello everyone, and welcome to WFMA Weekend Workshops, presented by the Wichita Falls Museum of Art at MSU Texas. In the tradition of makerspaces, we are here to learn the basics of a new medium and then make it your own. Today, we're going to be focusing on relief printing. So, relief printing is based on the idea that you have raised surfaces and lower surfaces, and when you apply ink or paint to the raised surfaces, and then you press paper to it, that paper will only pick the ink up from those raised surfaces. Um, think of it like a rubber stamp. And there are a number of different ways that we can approach this art making medium. Traditionally, relief printmaking has been done with woodcut and lino cut where you use sheets of linoleum in order to carve your image in and then ink it and press paper to it. Today, we're going to be doing something that's a little bit more accessible, a little bit easier, um, and a little bit safer. We're going to be using foam. So this is just craft foam, um, EFA foam. You can find it at most um, craft stores, hobby stores. It's not too expensive at all. And the reason why I like using this is because when you make marks into it, it holds on to those marks pretty easily. Now, you don't have to use craft foam. You can use um, styrofoam. Styrofoam will also work. I've also done this on the backs of serving trays. So you have lots of options. Um, I've even seen people ink found objects that they you know find all around them. So in order to make this easier, to hold on to and manage, what I like to do is I like to start off with a piece of cardboard, cut to the size that I want my print to be, and then I coat it in just regular white glue, and I glue my foam down to it and trim the excess foam off. And what you're left with is a piece like this. This is nice and sturdy, it's nice and stiff, it's nice and easy to draw on to create your designs. Now, in order to create those designs, you're going to need some kind of rigid tool in order to make those marks into the surface. You could use the tips of pens, you can use blunt pencils, you can use the uh, back of paint sticks. There's all sorts of different things. But the idea is that once you have your surface, you are then free to draw into it with your tool. And when you do, you can see that that design that we draw into the surface leaves a lower area. Now when we ink this plate, the ink will only sit on that raised portion and it won't go into the lower areas. And what this means is when we press paper to it, anywhere that we have drawn onto the surface of this will remain blank. Or say if you're printing on white paper, they'll show up as white lines. Um, you can also, you know, do things like stippling. You can write words, make shapes, whatever you want to do. Now, as a very quick note on writing words and using letters, when you pull a print from one of these, your image will be mirrored, meaning if you're going to write words, they have to be backwards, okay? So, drawing into your sheet is one method. The other option you have with foam is to cut out shapes of foam and then glue them down onto the backing board. Both methods work great. Um, it really just depends on what you're trying to do with it and what kind of effect you're trying to achieve. Sometimes it's easier to cut out shapes and then glue them down. Sometimes it's easier to draw them. And sometimes you can do a combination of them where the person who made this plate cut out this outside shape and drew these textural lines into the trunk of the tree. So really, it's completely up to you. 
But once you have your design created, now you have to get some ink on it. Today we're going to be using um, block printing ink. Block printing ink is really nice because it's kind of sticky. And because it's sticky, it likes to hold on to our brayer pretty easily. I'm going to get a little bit more ink on our tray. It doesn't take a whole lot. A little bit of this ink goes a really long way. Okay, so we have loaded our brayer up with ink. I'm going to transfer it onto the surface of my plate. Now, you don't have to use um, relief printing ink. You could also try this with paint. Um, it's just a little bit more slippery. And when we take our piece of paper and we place it on top of the plate that we've, got, that we've just created, the relief printing ink, because it's sticky, will cling right to it where other types of paint it may want to slide around. So do some experimenting, and you might find out that you really enjoy using one or the other. But what I'm going to do so I'm going to take my piece of paper and just kind of hover it above. And then once it sets down, that's where it's at. I'm just going to gently smooth it down onto the surface of the plate. And you can see I have ink all over my fingers, but that's no worries because it's going to be the back. And then from here, I'm going to take um, my Baron. It's, it's just a soft rubbing tool. And I'm going to rub the back of the paper to transfer the design from the plate to the paper itself. All right, and then we can lift up our paper and reveal the print that we have just made. And there you have it, relief print. Now, one of the advantages of doing this style of art making is you can create multiples. As you can see, this isn't the first print I've made with this plate. I've made dozens of the same print off of the same plate. That really is one of the advantages of, of printmaking is you can experiment with it. You can experiment with different colors, different thicknesses of ink, different amounts of pressure that you're transferring it using, all sorts of different things that you can play with and experiment with in order to get different results and just really figure out the ideas that you have in your head. Now, what are the downsides of foam? The downsides of foam, like we're printing with today rather than using something like wood or linoleum, is because foam is softer than wood or linoleum, this plate will wear out faster than wood or linoleum would. And so you can't get quite as many prints out of it, um, and you can't get quite as much detail out of your lines compared to using a more rigid surface like wood or linoleum. So this concludes today's lesson. We hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you give relief printing a try, and I hope that you really dive into the experimentation that comes with it. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.